Ice, ice baby. The Ice River KS0 Pro has landed here in Australia. So we've got a couple of these and uh, yeah, just arrived a few days ago. So I thought, let's just open this up together. We'll try and set it up. This is gonna be pretty much unedited, so bear with me. But yeah, let, let's just do it from the top and uh, see, see how we go. So let, let's get my uh, camera here set up. You know, I said in my previous video is uh, I probably should have gotten the Casper Asex, the Ice Rivers a bit sooner. But for me, I was still really trying to weigh up. You know, there was a little bit of people weren't sure about if it's legit, whether they're going to deliver these things. And I've seen enough now. Everyone's getting their Ice Rivers, making some great money. So I've jumped on board. I've picked up four of these. Got two here today. One's in the December delivery batch, and I've got another one that has been delivered uh, at my other office. So yeah, there'll be three hopefully set up pretty soon. So yeah, let, let's get this uh, underway. Let's open up now, and uh, yeah, Casper seems, what's it, the 3rd of December today to be picking up again over, I think it's 20 Aussie cents. So uh, it's, uh, yeah, getting back to those all-time highs, and we jump onto the uh, the mining um, kind of profitability uh, sort of uh, websites in a minute, and you know it looks like this is still making close to five US dollars a day, and I think in Aussie dollars probably around sort of uh, seven, maybe even eight Aussie dollars a day, which is that's still I would say ROI in about three months, and for a full year I think the profitability was around fifteen hundred uh, US dollars, which is you know fantastic if we can keep up that then you know th these things gonna keep them mining for a while and hopefully stack up lots of casper probably liquidate some to pay for the very small electricity bill uh, i think the uh, electric uh, usage on these is about 100 watts and doing about 200 giga hash this is the the newer pro model so yeah box open let's let's see what we've got inside team so power supply here now i did actually I, when i ordered my first uh ks0 i didn't get a power supply with it and then i thought well look they, they were actually quite cheap like 19 20 bucks i thought let's just get a second uh power supply so i do actually have two in this unit and they, they put them both in here so that will actually go with my other ks0 below there which didn't have a power supply so uh, that's good uh you know hopefully these are better than the um the gold shell power supplies which were a terrible and tended to get quite hot and burny at the connection point with the with the mini um, box asic miner so hopefully these are uh, a lot more sturdy than um the gold shell counterparts uh yeah let's just get this out let's just move that back a little bit and there we go Oh, camera's a bit wonky. Sorry, guys. Let's just put that there. Like I said, this is uh, pretty much unedited. So I've got one power supply and a plug there and a second one. Oh, I've been looking forward to getting my hands on this bad boy. So, oh, oh man, it's very, very snug in there. Jeepers. They packed this well. <laughs> wow, maybe there's a secret of getting this out, but that is in there. Very well. Here we go. We're getting some movement now. Getting some movement. I don't want to damage this thing. It's going to be making me a lot of money, hopefully. So it's um. Let's put the box uh, over there. Ah, uh, come on! You know you want to come out and make me some money. All right, we're getting there. We are getting there, guys. It is coming slowly but surely. Here you go. Come to daddy. All right there we go. Look at that. Awesome. Let's come in for a little bit of closer zoom there. Ice River KS0 Pro. Let's have a look. So that's the side. We've got the Ethernet there. QC pass. That's good. Hopefully it's going to switch on and work. USB there. I think that's for the fan power, which will go on top. So I need to figure that out. This side, just a uh, serial number there. Again, I'm doing this for you guys, but I do have a golden rule of anything mining, you know, whether I'm opening, you know, GPUs like this, uh, motherboards, always open it on video because if there's any problems, it's really easy to go back to the seller and say, hey, you know, look, there's a problem here and let's fix it. It's pretty unequivocal. No, no one can argue with it. Whether it's new or secondhand, just always do it on video. Just protect yourself. You know, we're spending a fair chunk of change by buying these um units so let's just uh, protect ourselves by opening them on video 
whether you want to put it on YouTube or not, that's, then that's up to you. So there's there's the power supply there. So uh, so that that here will just go into the the end there. So a pretty pretty simple setup there. It's quite a nice looking unit, and I'm still blown away that these generate so much mega hash compared to say a GPU, and at such low wattage. So, so yeah. So I think what I'm going to have to do, I do have an Ethernet cable. I might actually get it set up in my, in my office up here. I, I do have Ethernet in this room. Uh, these are quite low wattage and reasonably, I think, cool to run. But I might need to get a fan on top there. So what I might do, I actually might just chuck it here uh, and get it set up. And we'll yeah, we'll just, just start mining here, really, and uh, see, see how we go. So what I'm going to do, I'll come back in a few seconds. I'll get an Ethernet cable in here, get it powered up. We'll turn it on and see if we can uh, identify it on the network and try and add it to a pool. Keep it simple and uh, yeah, show you how to get these bad boys up and running. So yeah, I'll come back in a, a few minutes and I'll get the Ethernet in, get the power on connected and we'll, we'll get this switched on. Come back soon. All right, team, welcome back. We've got it all connected up. So Ethernet cable coming in here. Over here, we've got the power supply. I do note the the connection doesn't actually go all the way in. Uh, I looked at some other videos on YouTube and that seems to be standard. So if you are doing one of these for the first time, that is normal that there's a little gap there, probably about just under half a centimeter gap uh, with the power connector there. And then I needed a fan for the top here. So I've just used one of my normal mining fans. Uh, this is a Cooler Master fan. And I guess I didn't have any fans with the USB connection. So what I did, I just used a phone charger. I cut the end off here. Let me zoom in. I cut the end off and put a couple of connectors on there and just pushed it into the fan um, connector. So that should work. I've tested it. The fan does work when I plug it into just a normal USB. So it seems to work. Uh, my only one question in my head is, is this a um, cable? Can that handle the power going into the fan? But I'll just monitor that and see how it goes. I might buy a ready-made one on Amazon and get that delivered tomorrow. But I just thought, just for now, let's just do my own little homemade job there. So that's that. So everything's set up, ready to go now. Really, it really just needs to be switched on now. So I think what I'll do, I'll put it there. Let me go down to the power plug and let's switch this on. All right, we are on. Nice bit of green RGB on my, my Cooler Master fan. We've got lights down here. So we've got a green and a red. So I assume that that's normal. And yeah, everything looks good. So that is the KS0 Pro switched on. What we'll do now is I will go across to my desktop and we'll get this uh, found on the network, uh, plugged into a pool. And let's start earning some Casper. Coming back real soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are now on my desktop and let's get this K0 Pro set up and running. I did actually record the setup. The recording didn't work, so some things might already be up and running. Uh, I was planning to do this live with you and to show you what I did when I first got this Care Zero Pro set up. So that was about 20 minutes ago. I'm just gonna run through it really quickly and I'll show you exactly what I did about half an hour ago. But it's all pretty simple. Let's do this. So first of all, I thought I would just go into mindtheasset.com and have a look at this uh, bad boy, look at profitability. So at the moment, you can see there after electricity, the profit is uh, four bucks 22 month 126 and a year fifteen hundred dollars for the annual profit now this is in us dollars so let's just have a quick look at what that would be in aussie dollars so if we do the was it four bucks 22 that's 633 profit a day then the uh, month was 126 that's just under 200 aussie dollars profit a month and annually 1538 that's a whopping 2306 Aussie dollars so that and that would be around three times or more than three times what I paid for the single unit uh, the care zero pro so I guess my ROI would be around three and a half months which is fantastic you know particularly uh, considering what the ROIs are like for GPU money at the moment 
this is definitely Casper mining. These assets are definitely one of the most you know profitable things you can be mining on right now. It is early December 2023. Uh, let's just quickly go across to mining pool stats. Have a look at Casper, the hash rate, history. It is just skyrocketed from around uh, the middle of this year. So yeah, let's go back here to. Let's have a look at it. Uh, say August time, we are sort of running around or well, three petahash, and now as at today, we're around eighty, going up to around ninety petahash. I think what happens is where every time the ice rear and also I guess Bitmain release a big batch of their miners, they are plugged in and a hash rate keeps on climbing. So I think luckily as well, we've had the big spike up in the Casper price over the last couple of months. So that has offset some of that hash rate going up, which would be reducing the rewards. But yeah, it's gone up about almost 30 times uh, in less than half a year, which is just phenomenal. It looks like Casper is here to stay. Uh, keep going up and um, yeah, bring it on. Okay, let's go uh, back to the, so I've got a tool called Advanced IP Scanner. So you wanna get a tool like this, it's, fr it's free to download or something similar. You wanna scan it, all your IPs and look for a new one that's gonna pop up. So I, I know that a lot of these Shanghai ones here are the Gold Shell Mini Doge Mine or Cadena Miners. And this one here, which is the Zido Corporation, that definitely looks like a new one. And I do know already, I did click on that, and that is actually the Ice River uh, login. So you, all you do is you copy and paste the IP address, you put it into your browser, and it will essentially bring you on a very simple um, login page, which I've now, gone past uh, actually let's do this hang on so let's log out here we go right so you come here so really easy you just type admin and the password is one two three four five six seven eight and that'll take you three I would recommend you change your password um, for the default uh, just to ensure you have good security uh, when you start mining on this uh, one thing I will say as well if you go to the ice river support page a bit like gold shell they're really well set up they've got a lot of processes um, if you've got any warranty claims repair issues but tutorials is definitely worth having a look at download the English version and it, it essentially walks you through all these steps that we're doing now which is you know turn your ASERO Pro on the startup booting it what to look out for then you want to try these you, you, there's even different websites here detect IP they give you some um, tools you can use and you want to copy and paste your IP address and then you come to this screen which is the name and password which we just did together which is you put an admin and the password is one two three four five six seven eight I, I was doing one to nine originally it wasn't getting in but it's definitely one to eight as it as it shows you there and then yeah what we're gonna do now I'll show you as well it just shows you how then to set up your pool and essentially start mining so let's go back to the ice river login so you can see here we've had it switched on for a little while now. The hash rate is running right now 190, but it's averaging around 208 giga hash, which is good. That's a little bit above what the marketed hash rate is. And when you first come in there, basically if you go to mining settings, it's gonna have a lot of default pools in there. And that's essentially what they say is the Ice River's testing pools. If you don't change that, you basically be mining Casper and you're gonna be paying Ice River, which is, you know, we don't mind having a few Caspers while we're getting things set up but you wanna get this change as soon as possible so you're starting to earn money and it's going through your pool to your wallet. So how do we change this? So what you wanna do first is the ones that are in there by default, you just wanna delete them. So just go in there, delete all the ones, that, there'll be all of these will be filled, just delete them all out. Then I'm using a pool called F2 Pool. If we just go back to mining pool stats quickly, if you go on Casper, there's lots of pools here. So F2 Pool, Hum Pool, Cas Pool, um, here are mine is another popular one, K1 pool. So I've used F2 pool quite a lot for when I've been mining Dogecoin, Litecoin, and Cadena using my gold shell mini box miners. So I found it really reliable, um, payouts work well, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna stick with F2 pool. So when you log into F2 pool, you can basically click which algorithm you're mining. So you come across the Casper, and what it will show you there is your um, actually you want to go to home then on Casper if you go to workers yeah there you go so essentially on this page it will give you this is the key information you need so 
you copy and paste so I'm, I'm in Australia Asia so you want to copy and paste this actually it looks like I've, I've actually I should do that instead of for ASICs it's that one so I've actually done that one at the moment and you take that across to your Ice River domain and you copy and paste that in you'll also get your uh, worker wallet name so when you first log in it will actually give you a slightly different screen I'm I'm now mining here so it's showing me my hash rate but when you first log in it will basically give you your pool URL and it will give you your worker name as well so you copy and paste that you put that into the Ice River mining settings here. Password is optional, but I've just used the password that it gave me in F2 pool. And you save that, and bombs away, you'll start to mine. So I did this about, let's have a look, almost 45 minutes ago now. And yeah, it's been mining consistently above 200 giga hash. You can go into F2 pool, whichever pool you choose, and you can see here that we've got our, it shows the hash rate it's doing at the moment. So let's have a look. So at the moment it's saying, and it, it takes a little while to spool up, but at the moment, my 15 minute hash rate is 127 but I think that will increase I think one thing I am going to do I've just looked at this here I I think I am going to change it and I'm going to do it to this so it says for ASIC so I, we might even do that now actually so let, let's go here so let's come here and we'll go to mining setting and we will actually remove that and we're going to put in the one that says for ASIC. So let's just copy that. Oh, hang on, let's copy that. And let's put this into there. We'll leave that the same. The password should be the same. Um, and we will do save. Right, it's operation. So we're actually using the proper one now that it recommends for, for ASICs here. And so that might switch over. But again, we can monitor after it's been running for half an hour an hour we should be able to monitor it and you'll see that the hash rate is is coming through so that I would assume after an hour or so we'll go up to around 200 um, giga hash which is what the output on the, on the machine is so it's actually that simple you know even if it's this is your first time home miner um, the overall uh, operation is pretty straightforward so um, let's just refresh that oh yeah so that's now refreshed to um, 1430 which is the one that it said it did recommend to use that for your ASICs so so that's it up and running nicely now let's just go in here yeah I'll monitor this for a little bit um, the fan seems to be working fine I haven't changed uh, the fan settings I've got 50% at the moment I'm just gonna leave that as it is and we'll monitor how that goes so um, now the other thing actually you need to do is just going back to um, F2 pool now the good thing at F2 pool because the payouts don't happen instantly, there is a payout threshold. Um, you don't need to get your wallet address in there uh, instantly. You can just start mining and start to stack some Casper. Um, what you need to do though is go to account settings and you do payout settings and you need to add your Casper address. Now, luckily for me, I did um, mine some Casper a while ago um, using my GPUs back in the golden days. Uh, and I just copied my Casper address from HiveOS, which was in my, my saved wallet, and I just took this across to F2 pool. I pasted it in here, and then it just does an email um, verification. So you click that link, and that will validate your Casper address. So that's all set to go, basically. As soon as I meet my payout threshold for Casper um, on this pool, and I'll check that what that is, you can, you can change those payout thresholds as well. That will mine through F2 pool and then it will pay into my Casper wallet that I have nominated. So guys, that's it, really exciting. We're up and running on our KS0 Pro. We're starting to make some Casper. I'm looking forward to realizing hopefully these projected daily, monthly and annual profits. Easy as that, so I'll keep you posted. I'm really good to get it set up. I'm gonna get my second KS0 Pro set up right away now and I'm gonna get them both them up and running. And yeah, looking forward to earning some uh, some Casper. So hope you found this useful. Let me know how you're going. If you're already using KS0 Pros, if I missed anything, let me know. And um, yeah, happy mining. Thanks for watching.